I would say I was more in that kind of doula kind of role. <laughs> I was an emotional support. <laughs> I was present. I was offering breathing techniques. See her going through a labor, I was just like, oh no, oh no, here I am, I'm, I'm, I'm going. And so I immediately kind of became a useless mess. My name's Lynn and I volunteer for Guide Dogs. I am called a brood bitch holder. The, the volunteer role is to have one of the breeding mums living in your home with you, lives with you as your pet, although still um, Guide Dogs maintain ownership of the dog. And then when Guide Dogs decide, once a year usually, the dog has a litter of puppies and then they're raised for the first six weeks of their lives in your home. My name is Charlie and I'm an actor working on Coronation Street at the moment. I, I basically come over as often as I can to mainly just enjoy the pups because they are gorgeous and 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 you know brilliant to be around. But I, I try I try and muck in when I can. He mucks in. He's, <laughs> he's good at cuddling duties. That's his main. Because they need they need love as well as support, and I think I'm, I think that's the that's my main <laughs> that's my main involvement. Yeah, he does the cuddling. I do the cleaning. I think mean, that's probably fair. I've been involved with guide dogs since 2016. It, it's very hard work. There's no question about that. But it's just such a privilege to just go through the whole experience. Really, um, the birth. You know, seeing what amazing mums they make just seeing the puppies grow so, so, so quickly, um, develop all their little personalities. And it's, it's, it's just a, it's a brilliant thing to do. Not only do you get a beautiful, well-behaved, most of the time, dog, um, you're doing your bit and sort of helping as well. So yeah, it's a win-win as far as I'm concerned. Saying goodbye to the puppies is definitely tough. Um, it, the last couple of weeks are very hard work because they're all charging round um, and you know they, they make a lot of mess and um, but they're just adorable and their little personalities are there and they, we, we name them ourselves silly names um, that we know they won't keep um, so each litter that we've had I cry every time um, but you know I, you know from the beginning they're gonna go and um, it's what you expect and, and so you know it's the right thing. The fact that you are some small part of making someone else's life a little bit better, whilst also having, you know, just this really sort of rewarding, fulfilling experience for yourself. The knowledge that their journey doesn't stop with you, they go on to make a real difference out in the world. So. That the knowledge that that's what they're going on to do and the fact that we get updates from the puppy walkers and then the subsequent owners, that we're, we're pretty constantly kept in the loop as to how well they're all doing. So the connection doesn't get severed. I think the whole reason, you know, we, you do it for, for lots of reasons, but one of the reasons is because we know that guide dogs make a massive difference to the guide dog owners. And so we know that a number of Tony's puppies are already working guide dogs. And, you know, that's, that feels really special. And, and to be a part of that, you know, go on and do your best and be brave. And, you know, I'm in contact with a couple of guide dog owners and it, it's lovely. And I think that's what, what makes it, you have to remember that. So when you do feel sad, remind yourself that this is the whole point. And, you know, the, the difference that these dogs can make to people, people's lives is just incredible. Um, it, I can shed a tear just thinking about it. Um, it, you know, it really is a marvellous charity. There are so many different things that can be done and that you can do, um, depending on what your availability is, what your, you know, personal work schedule is. Uh, there is always something that can be done and there is space for you.